everyone, we're Moss Charmley. Today we're going to show you how to use the 8-Bit Do Micro as a digital artist using Procreate. The 8-Bit Do Micro works as a handheld keyboard. If you use a keyboard in Procreate, this might be the alternative you have been looking for. It may improve your workflow and speed things up a bit for you. Not to say using a keyboard can be slow, this is just different. In this video, we're going to walk you through the steps of programming the 8-Bit Do Micro for Procreate in the Ultimate software. If you are wondering what the 8-Bit Do Micro is, it is a gamepad that takes the place of your keyboard after you've customized it with the Ultimate software. It has 16 programmable buttons that are customizable to your workflow. It works with Switch, Android, Raspberry Pi. <laughs> it can connect using Bluetooth or wired USB-C connection. It has 180 milliamp battery that is rechargeable and it has 12 hours of playtime. It can recharge in one to two hours, which is really good. Uh, if you're left or right-handed, no problem. The key that we, ha we made for the Ultimate software will show both left and right-hand orientation. We also wanted to say that um, the gamepad, the micro is um, like around $25, so yeah. it's pretty affordable. It's on sale too a lot. Yeah. It's kind of the best part about it right <laughs> it's really nice it's a really great little device really handy it does a lot, Ugh, so. we use it all the time yeah speaking of we wanted to let you know we aren't sponsored these are only our opinions as digital artists but we hope this helps you out if you're thinking of using a device like this as a digital artist if you wanted to stick to a keyboard that's cool too the 8 do micro is just you know a device we presently prefer using and that's all <laughs> yeah <laughs> The first thing to do is to install the Ultimate software on your mobile device. It is easier with, you know, using your phone. Um, so go to your app store of choice and it's called Ultimate Software. We found it by typing in 8-bit do Ultimate Software. It was kind of weird and we couldn't really find it unless we put in 8-bit do Ultimate Software. So anyways, um, it will need to control your Bluetooth uh, of your phone. And that's because the software uses that to program the 8-bit to micro. So no worries. And that's where we're going to create the profile for Procreate. <laughs> the next thing to do after installing the Ultimate software is getting the keyboard shortcuts for Procreate. You can connect any compatible keyboard via Bluetooth or the iPad Pro USB-C connection. To see the available shortcuts, hold down the command key while in the Procreate app. There's a very standard selection that they say are based on existing shortcuts in other illustration software. We're going to use these to program a profile on the ultimate software for Procreate. We created some profiles with our keyboard shortcut preferences. You don't have to feel obligated to use the same ones. We just thought if you wanted to, this could give you a good start on how to start using this. So feel free to find the keyboard shortcuts that may work better for you. You know, we found that some combos didn't seem to work too well, but we worked around it, so it wasn't really a big deal. Yeah. Now in the 8-Bit Do Ultimate software on our phone, we're going to start programming the micro. Make sure that the micro is on and you have opened the Ultimate software app. Now just press the heart on the gamepad and everything will sync up. Inside the Ultimate software, if you go to the top left and select Profile, then press the large band at the top with the little plus in the middle, that will create a new profile. And then if you press on the little pencil on the right of the profile, you can edit the name of the profile. So let's rename the profile to Procreate. And there we go. The first profile configuration that we will walk through is for people who hold the controller in their left hand and draw with their right hand. Just make sure that the Procreate profile is in blue or selected. Once you have done that, press buttons, which is the second option on the left. This is where we're going to input all of the shortcuts to work for micro. One more thing. The command key on an Apple keyboard will be substituted in the Ultimate software with the Win button, also known as the Windows button. <laughs> the, super. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> Ultimate software is more Windows-centric, so it's going to be more uh, Windows buttons and 
less apple less buttons. apple buttons. <laughs> Yeah. So it just trans. These are the yeah. sort of translations yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah. So we have that in the key. Yeah, the, the key that we have. So yeah. if you're wondering, it's really no problem. We did that translation, and it, everything works out. So yeah. yeah. So if we're gonna start with on the left side of the controller. So um, let's start. <laughs> <laughs> L two is the letter C. <laughs> <laughs> That is for open color panel. Yes. Right? And then L is the letter M, which is color picker. Yes. And minus is win, or the Windows button, plus Z, which is undo. Then the up arrow, which is E, the eraser. Then we have the left arrow, which is... Also, the right bracket, mm -hmm. which is increase brush size. Then we have the right arrow, which is the left bracket, which is decrease brush size. Then we have the down button, which is B, which is activate paint tool. Then we have the star button, which is S, which, which is enter selection mode. Now on the right side, we have R2, which is win plus C, which is copy. Then we have R, which is win plus V, which is paste. Then we have plus, the plus button, which is win plus shift plus Z, hmm. which is redo. Then we have the X button, which is space, and that's quick menu. Then we have the A button, which is win plus zero, and this toggles full screen mode. Then we have the Y button, which is L, and this is the open layer panel. That's what it does. <laughs> um, and then we have B, the B button, which is uh, Win plus K, and that opens the transform tool. Then we have the heart button, which is V, which enters the transform mode. Now we're going to do the walkthrough for people who will hold the controller in their right hand and use their stylus with their left, so the lefties. We will start with the left column first with L2 which is the win plus C, which is for copy. The next button will be L, and that is the win plus V for paste. The next one is the minus button, and that is win plus shift plus Z, which is redo. Now the arrow up, that's the space for quick menu. Now the, le the arrow pointing to the left. That's going to be the win plus O. Oh, zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. That's going to be toggles the full screen mode on or off. Now the arrow pointing to the right. That's going to be the letter L for open layer panel. Now the arrow pointing down is going to be win plus K for open transform tool. Now it's the little star. That's going to be the letter V, which enters transform mode. Now we're going on to the right column, starting with R2. That's going to be the letter C for open color panel. Now the button R, or bumper R, which is going to be the letter M for color picker. Now the button plus. That's going to be win plus Z, which is undo. Now the button X, that's going to be the letter E for erase. Now the A button, which is going to be the left bracket. Oops, excuse me, right bracket. <laughs> <laughs> we both get that so confused. <laughs> yeah, and that's for increased brush side size. <clears throat> Now the letter Y is going to be the left bracket, right? Yes. Correct. 
that's going to be decrease brush size. And the letter B, or sorry, the button B is going to be the letter B, which is to activate the paint tool. And finally, the little heart. That is going to be the letter S, which enters selection mode. And that's about it. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget to press uh, sync your Ooh. controller so you can make sure all your buttons Save are all saved. That work. Yeah, you, <laughs> you don't want that to happen. Make sure everything's synced up good. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. So. <laughs> So yes, congratulations! You just synced your your eight bit do micro, so mm -hmm. you can now work this cool yeah. cool thing to you know as a hotkey device yeah. with your iPad yeah. using Procreate. It's pretty awesome. It's a perfect little portable thing, especially how portable the iPad is. Yeah, you know? it adds. You well, know, it's a you don't huge you don't you could do mm -hmm. the uh, double tap as well, yeah. but this gives you that kind of hotkey. Yeah, it's you in know. your hand. They do have those keyboards that are made that are absolutely awesome for yeah. Procreate, but this fits in your hand, and it's not just a keyboard. Like you know, say you got a little gaming to do, got a little gaming. <laughs> No, but it's true. Yeah, yeah. You, it's it's neat because you could use it for so many different things, yeah. and we use it for uh, other programs. We use like yeah. Krita and yeah. you know everything pretty stuff. much. Using, yeah, it's pretty much what we use it for. It's awesome. Yeah. So, so thank you. Mm -hmm. That's that's it for the walkthrough, and uh, we hope that this is, helps you um, getting accustomed to using the micro as a shortcut key alternative. It is a very capable de uh, device that we really really do enjoy using. <laughs> for sure. We are going to leave a PDF of these um, configurations on Gumroad for free, and we will leave it up right now at the end of the video so you can take a screenshot and use it if you'd like. Uh, we want to thank everybody for lasting this long with this tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can be boring. Yeah, a little bit, but you know, I mean, it, just a walkthrough could be that way, but yeah. I don't know. I'd want that. Oh, me too. Something yeah. that, that helps. Yeah. figure this out it just helps and just walks you through it yeah just step by step it's kind of a cool thing to have i don't know anyways, i agree <laughs> we hope it helps everybody else because we want this i yeah. would we would anyways okay <laughs> thank you everybody <laughs> moss charmly out yeah. have a great day and thank you again thank you if again you, if you'd like more you know please subscribe and like yeah, our videos like our videos the liking helps yeah you know we're doing great everybody thank you <laughs> for more art fun <laughs> Lots of fun art.